Hey guys, Ben here. Just figured I'd show you guys something new that I recently discovered that I feel like a lot of people would be interested in and may not really be aware of it. Like many of you, uh, people that like retro games, one of the things that probably limits you is the amount of space that you have or maybe the TV you have everything hooked up to. I don't have a receiver, therefore I don't have many inputs, so I'm kind of limited to what I can have on my TV. Um, so one of the issues recently is I wanted to try picking up playing some GameCube games, but I really don't even have any more connections on this TV. And when the uh, Wii U came out, I was excited at the fact that maybe I'll get to play some uh, GameCube games again, and I was really bummed out when I found out that it wouldn't be backwards compatible like the Wii was. Um, so I started to look into it and I actually found out there is a way to do it, and it's really simple. And really, it only really requires something as simple as an SD card, Smash Brothers for the uh, Wii. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in, kind of show you what I mean. Right. So, what this basically does is you just got the virtual Wii modded. It doesn't affect the actual Wii U at all, um, so you don't have to worry about updates messing things up. All I have to do is just switch over. And the cool thing about it is you don't really need anything extra. You just need to get that SD card. I use a 64 gigabyte one. I had to uh, use a special program to get to convert uh, Convert it to FAT32 because that's what the Wii requires to be able to uh, read the data. So then I was able to install what's called the Homebrew Channel. Just boot that up. And it works very similar to how a, a modded original Xbox does, in that you just use the memory card with a couple files on it from your computer and you use uh, the Smash Brothers game. And you kind of go through a little loophole uh, through a save state. And then you can start modding the Wii. So here's a program called Nintendo. This is what serves as the uh, loader for the GameCube games. And it, you can load it off the USB hard drive or the SD card. Here are all the, some of the games that I had, or that I have on my GameCube. And if you don't have um, the Wii U adapter uh, for the GameCube controllers, you can even just use a PlayStation 3 controller. For some reason, uh, it's not been updated to utilize the Wii U gamepad or even the Wii Motes. So you have to have either a PS3 controller, some sort of USB controller, or uh, this Wii gamepad, uh, Wii gamepad adapter. <laughs> The nice thing, as you can see, is that it looks uh, awesome. I still have my original GameCube, even have the original component cables from when it came out. At that time, they were only $30 from Nintendo. Now they're with some ridiculous prices, but I think the best thing about this is that you're playing GameCube games at 480p via digital output. Um, and I don't think it gets any better than that in terms of visual fidelity from the GameCube. And the controls are flawless using this little adapter uh, that I got off of Amazon for about $20. It's the one made actually by Nintendo. It just worked perfectly. No setup had to be done. Everything just works. Click for a few things. Nice thing too is that it also emulates a memory card. Um, so again, it just function, functions exactly like it would if you're using a real GameCube. It's impossible to play it with one hand. So the way you back out, 
not as convenient, but still not that bad. Just take the Wii remote, hit the home button, and back on out. And not only can you play it on your TV, but you can even play it on the Wii U gamepad if you like. Still, you have to use uh, your controller. But it's pretty nice, you can play it portably if you'd like. I'm just going to show you a few shots of uh, a few of the other GameCube games running. I'll put the uh, links to the videos that I use to figure out how to do this and a link to the program I use to format my SD card. doing this with one hand again so forgive me but they all work flawlessly and you can tell that you know all the architecture there to run is run, is there to run these games they just didn't want to support those small gamecube discs i guess At the end of the day, I'd definitely say it's worth doing, and it's really not that hard to do, you just have to make sure you have the right files. Um, there's several videos detailing how to do this, um, and it's something you can figure out in about 15 minutes as long as you follow the right video. Um, the great thing is that you can continue to use your Wii U, uh, download updates, play online games, and none of that is affected because you're not modding the Wii U, you're only modifying the virtual Wii, uh, which hasn't been updated, as far as I understand, in a very long time. So again, this is a great idea for people that want to play GameCube games, uh, just don't want to pull their GameCube out, doesn't ha you don't have enough hookups, and you want to play your GameCube games through an HDMI output. So something real easy to use and you really don't have to buy much a small SD card or a bigger 64 gigabyte um, if you'd like and then you know if you've got all your GameCube controllers you just need to get a GameCube adapter which is real cheap right now too there's some third-party ones for I think for about 15 and the one made by Nintendo the first party one is only $19.99 right now um, so I definitely encourage you to check it out and enjoy playing some GameCube games thanks have a good one